Hey guys, today I wanna to share with you my five favorite plugins and templates for Final Cut right now. I picked these ones because I feel like they're really fresh and very current and add a lot of life to your video production projects. If you wanna snag any of them, I will link to all of them down below. Let's just dive right into it. The first one I'm loving right now is The Camera by Pixel Film Studios. This template comes with so many different effects, but the ones I'm really in love with are these zoom tools. This drag and drop effect applies a camera move to your videos that are so natural and lifelike looking. They can zoom in or zoom out, and then you can add a little bit of motion blur. You can have the camera go a little bit out of focus. It looks so real and makes our videos look really dynamic. To use this plugin, I would definitely recommend shooting in, let's say, 4K, but editing in HD. That way you don't lose a lot of resolution when you zoom in on these camera moves. A couple tips for you. If you want the zoom to start not right at the beginning of your clip, I would take that clip and split it in the middle and make a through edit where you want that zoom to start and then apply the effect to the second half of that clip. And then here in the inspector, there's so much control over where you zoom in the frame and how zoomed in you can get. You can control how blurry it gets while it moves around. You can affect the camera shakiness and the interpolation of that move. It is such a great plugin. Everyone went wild in my office when we got this from Pixel Film Studios, and I'm just loving it very, very much. This one's definitely going to be a staple in my effects bin. I think you're really gonna like it too. The next set of templates I'm loving right now is from Stupid Raisins, and it's called Track Pop. They're designed to be used with the new motion tracking feature in Final Cut, and they're an assortment of dynamic, illustrations and shapes that are perfect when you need to add data to one of your video projects. The one I'm really loving right now is this pointer number four that actually has drop zones where you can actually drop custom images into the pointer. These elements are so beautifully designed and they add a little bit of fun, excitement, and creativity to some maybe data heavy projects you're working on. Your clients are definitely gonna love these. Before I get to my next favorite template, if you're liking this video, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you never miss another upload. All right, the next one I'm loving right now is called Landscape Parallax by Motion VFX. This effects pack comes with an array of titles and generators to create these really surreal looking effects to your landscape shots. These effects are definitely straight up eye candy to add some visual interest to some already stunning shots you might be working with. To almost make it look like your camera is passing through a pane of glass as it's zooming into your landscape. These effects use drop zones, so I would recommend doing any color correction you want to the clip you're gonna apply in the drop zone with these effects, and then making that clip a compound clip, and then selecting the compound clip in your browser to apply it to the drop zone. These effects apply particles, edge blurs, Gaussian blurs, droplets, and bulge effects, plus a color filter that you can turn on or off, and then modify the strength of that filter. On this particular shot, I actually keyframed it so it was 100% affected, and then dialed it all the way down to zero before I moved on to the next shot. While we're talking about motion VFX, I also wanna let you know that they are offering a free set of titles called Help Ukraine. These are dynamic, animating icons and text effects that you can use in your video content to remind people to support the people of Ukraine. And I know this kind of thing can seem a little bit like armchair activism, but I do think it's a great way to remind people that the conflict and atrocities in Ukraine still continue and we can do more to support the people of Ukraine. You know, maybe if you made a donation at the beginning of the conflict, maybe it's time to do another donation to help support relief efforts over there, or if you live in a NATO country and you feel like maybe your leaders could be doing something differently or more to support the people of Ukraine, then this is a great reminder to reach out to them and let them know. All right, Slava Ukraini, let's move on. The next plugin I have to talk to you about, I've done an entire dedicated video on this, is the BCC Plus Looks from Boris. If you missed that video and you want a very in-depth tutorial, I will link to it right up here. You can check that out. But Boris is offering you guys free looks that you can apply to your video content. But besides just the looks, 
These looks also come with free mocha tracking. Mocha tracking is different from the tracking that's built into Final Cut in that it's a planar tracker, so you can track odd shapes as they move along, as opposed to in Final Cut, which is just an object tracker. This plugin is amazing. Mocha is absolutely amazing. Take a look at this starfish shot. This is what it looked like when I first got it off of ArtGrid. And this is what it looks like now with the Mocha tracking. I can just very easily cut around that starfish in Mocha and then apply a look to just that starfish. So the sand looks the same, but the starfish looks really vibrant and happy. I'm so into this plugin from Boris. And while this looks effect is free, it's part of a huge suite of looks, lens flares, film looks, and other effects from Boris called Continuum for FCP. You should definitely check it out. I will link to that below as well. The last template I'm super into is called Freeze Frame. And you might be surprised to hear it's from Motion Array. Motion Array, if you're not familiar, is a monthly subscription service where you get access to stock video, stock music, stock graphics, but also a ton of final cut templates. And this one here, freeze frame, I think is just so great because it's so easy to use, but it looks really affected. Like you spend a lot of time creating these freeze frame looks. And what I also love about the freeze frame template is that unlike most of the templates I work with from Motion Array, which are pretty just like plug and play, and there's not a lot of customization that you can do with them. This freeze frame transition has so many different options so you can get the exact look that you are seeking in terms of color and layout. Now, let me just show you really quick how it works because it can be a little confusing because it is a transition. So basically what you want to do is create a freeze frame at the appropriate point in your video clip. And then you're actually going to create a through edit right dead center in the middle of that freeze frame, however long you want that freeze frame to be. Then you drop the freeze frame transition onto that cut and extend it the entire length of your freeze frame. And then this is the effect that you get. It looks like you spent a lot of time creating this freeze frame effect, but in fact, you just did it in a quick drag and drop. So I am loving this one. You guys, what other plugins are you enjoying right now on Final Cut? Let us all know in the comments. We're dying to see it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.